Good day, my name is Sharai Matizamuka, and I'll be taking you through an analysis of a novel. But in this video, we'll be looking closely on how to write a good literary paragraph. But before we commence, what is a literary paragraph? It is a paragraph about literature. It is normally written in response to questions or instructions based on a literary text. Well, what is a literary text? A literary text can be anything, like poetry that you engage with at school, novels that you read at school, or any novel that you read at your free time, short stories, or even a play. Well, a literary paragraph can be looked at like a hamburger. Well, let me explain this. You know a hamburger has a bun on top and then it has all the tomatoes, the lettuce, the burger, the cheese or whatever you love inside your burger. And then it has the bottom bun. So is a good paragraph. A good paragraph is a well-structured paragraph that resembles a hamburger in essence. So what makes up this hamburger paragraph? Firstly, the top bun is a good topic sentence or main idea. So before you begin any literary paragraph, you need to have a topic sentence or you can call it a main idea. And in the middle of your paragraph, and that's the middle of the hamburger now, are all your supporting ideas, details, and these can be examples or quotations that really support your topic sentence or your main idea. And then we have the bottom bun. This is the closing bun that keeps your hamburger together. Like in our literary paragraph, we also need a concluding statement, or we can call it a closing sentence. And what it should do is to link to the main idea or the topic sentence. So this bun literally wraps everything together into a very good literary paragraph. Now let's go further in the next slide. We're going to go into more detail on how to write a really good literary paragraph. The first step on how to write a good literary paragraph is to make sure that you understand the question or instru instruction for the paragraph. Remember, we are writing a literary paragraph and it will be based on a literary text. So ensure that if perhaps you get a poem, that the poem that you will be engaging with or trying to write a paragraph for, you thoroughly understand the poem so that you can easily understand what the question is asking. Remember, although we are only discussing a literary paragraph, a literary paragraph is just one component that will make up your whole literary essay that you'll be writing on any literary work that you engage with. And as I said before, you can write a literary paragraph slash essay on short stories, novels, and poetry. Now let's move to step two. Step two, answer the question briefly. This answer will be the topic sentence or main idea. So after you've read your question, after you've understood what the question is asking, your topic sentence is literally the answer to that question or the main idea. After you have done that, we go further to step three. You find examples from the story that best support or prove your main idea. So in step three, we know that we've already understood the question, we've answered it, and our answer is our topic sentence. And now, in step three, we want to go further into explaining and expanding on that main idea, our topic sentence. And here, you can use um, examples. You can paraphrase, paraphrasing meaning, instead of quoting directly from the text, you can paraphrase what the writer is trying to say or what the poet is trying to say in all essence to enhance the main idea or the topic sentence. And then the last step, step four, is to write a closing statement and this summarizes the point your paragraph is trying to make. 
And most importantly, what you should remember is that the closing statement aims to link to the main idea. Remember, the main idea is the one that we've mentioned in step two. So writing a literary paragraph follows these steps. And to ensure that your literary paragraph is a good looking hamburger, a juicy one, you have to follow these steps accordingly. So just to revise them again, step one, which is very important, make sure you understand the question or the instruction of the paragraph. And then step two, answer the question briefly. And this answer will be your topic sentence or main idea. And step three, find examples from the story that best support or prove your main idea. And step four, write a closing statement. And this summarizes the point your paragraph is trying to make. And it also links to the main idea. So once you've practiced, there are certain things that you need to look out for, and we're going to discuss these next. Things to really avoid when you are writing literary paragraphs. You need to avoid run-on and string sentences. You need to avoid incorrect punctuation mark and ensure that at the beginning of any sentence, you have inserted a capital letter. You need to avoid incorrect spelling, so it's always good to proofread your work. And you need to avoid the use of words such as I, me, my, we. Any ambiguous pronouns should not be used. And no informal SMS language and do not introduce ideas with I think or in my opinion. Remember, lit writing a literary paragraph, this is formal work. So since this is formal work, you cannot make it seem like it is your own work because you're writing a paragraph based on a literary text or a poem or a novel. And those, in essence, are facts. So you need to present them in the third person. So it is very important that as you practice and you practice writing a good literary paragraph correctly. And I hope that has helped you or given you a basic idea of how to write a good literary paragraph. And remember, although we are practicing how to write a paragraph, this paragraph will form many paragraphs in your literary essay. Bye and thank you so much for watching.